right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, it seems like they've heard everything that we're saying, and they have answered our prayers. We got more devs. They're hiring more devs. They have acquired hook back. Look, man, we're going to talk about all that on the other side of this, man. But don't, don't if you don't do nothing else, because I don't want to take up y'all time, make sure y'all like the video, because every time y'all like the video, it, it helps me get to the also coveted 100K. And we're going to try to figure this thing out, man. But uh, we're going to talk about the acquisition of Hookbang and uh, what this could mean for 2K and how we would like to see this going forward. So if you don't do nothing else, make sure y'all like the video and let's just get right into it. Edo! Make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Uh-oh, I didn't even start the video. Hold on, let me start this real fast. All right, let me also make sure that, yeah, I had to make sure it was muted. Anyway, <laughs> check it out, bro. I ain't do none of the uh, preliminary work on this, so I'm going to have to resize this. Uh, I'm probably going to have to resize this as we go um, just because I was lazy. And my little boy got distance learning, and that means I don't have a lot of time to, to mess around with y'all this morning man so let me just resize this real fast and then we gonna get right into <laughs> to it y'all don't care what it say anyway man it just says working with look man um let me see uh the new york whatever to now uh, what is it? Uh, 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 2k today announced the company has acquired hookman llc austin based video game division uh that will become part of visual concepts uh this the distinguished the distinguished wholly owned studio, I guess it's wholly owned, wholly owned, whatever, wholly owned studio and developer uh, of the iconic NBA 2K uh, video game franchise. Financial terms were not disclosed. And then, you know, it looks like they said, uh, looked like they, they tweeted, working with a studio as prominent as visual concepts on NBA 2K21 was an extraordinary opportunity for Hook Bank. Now, um, let me see. Let me see. The, the the team acquired under the new. We're just gonna read it out. The team acquired. Uh, the team acquired. The acquired team, bro. I can't read this, man, because my day. I need to change my context. The acquired team under the new name of Visual Concepts Austin will join the development family of current locations in uh, San Francisco, Bay Area, Greater Los Angeles, and Orange County, California, as well as Vancouver, Seoul, Shanghai, and Budapest. Uh, the studio will operate from from a to be announced new location in Austin, Texas, uh, metropolitan area, and plans to employ hundreds, hundreds, employ hundreds, hundreds of developers to support NBA 2K as well as the, as well as the company's uh, expanding publishing uh, business, expanding publishing business. I guess, you know, they're gonna publish more games and stuff like that. The acquisition uh, also marks 2K going, uh, 2K's ongoing efforts to identify talent development teams around the world uh let me see to join 2k and increase its portfolio of interactive entertainment offerings all right so the rest of it just talking about you know founding and whatever blah 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 all that other stuff a lot of stuff that we don't care about man listen man if this is done let me know right now down in the comment section this is a w or l for 2k now i'm gonna say it's a w and i'm gonna tell you why i think it's a w just because of the fact that no matter what Having more devs on staff is always a good thing. We don't know what capacity these devs are going to be on staff in. Um, I'm going to tell you what I think, and then I'm going to tell you my dream. All right. So this is what we. This is what I probably think. I probably think that this. This is just. Oh, I'm pulling this. All oh, this is all conjecture. I'm just pulling it out of the air. I think that since they saying that that working with 2K. Uh, on NBA 2K21 was extraordinary opportunity for Hook Bang. I'm gonna say this. This is what I'm gonna say. I totally believe that since they like, we didn't know that they were working with them on anything. We didn't know that they had that, that, that they had done anything. We didn't know, as far as we knew, that uh, you know, the 2K staff split itself in half, and they worked on uh, two games at one time. So now it seems like what really happened is Hook Bang did this one. And the real 2K staff did the other one, and, and they still was kind of split. Maybe they were advising on the. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it looks like that's what it's saying because what which which 2K did Hook Bang work on? I don't know. I don't care. Look, some people think the 2K this, this 2K21. Look, if 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 Hook Bang worked on this game 
and 2K worked on the other one, it's all good. Because I, I, that's the only way that I can see it happening. They, they got Hookbang to work on this one, and they did this, and then the other one. Hookbang did a pretty good damn job, server-wise and stability-wise. I'm not even going to lie to you, because this game don't crash. This game don't die. This game doesn't threaten my Xbox. This game doesn't do any of that. This game just works. It works on the Xbox One. It works on the OG Xbox VCR. It works on the, the Series X, the Series S. It doesn't matter what happened. We've mixed everything together. The game don't crash. It. So, so hey, look. If 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 you want to say it, I think the hook bang. Look, bro, you can't you can't leave me open, bro. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Um, I would say the hook bang. Did a pretty good, did a, a, a bang up job. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. So now that they're actually gonna be officially joining the team, I would say that, uh, but you know, the 2K actual team, they had to work on the, the new stuff and do all that good stuff and all this stuff. They had to work on everything new. They had to do what they had to do with the new hardware and stuff. And so we don't have as much uh, stability as, as we wish we would have had, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's new. But. If these guys worked on this game and the main staff worked on the other game and 2K is, you know, the better for it, I guess it would say we got two games and we know what we got. What do what do you think they should do next time? I think what they're going to do is probably they're going to probably keep them working on current gen, the current gen iteration of the game. And the, the main 2K staff is probably going to work on the other iteration. What I wish would happen, that's what I probably think is going to happen. I can't I can't prove it. I don't even know if that's what really happened. This is all just conjecture. I'm just like I said, just pulling it out of the air. I don't know. But that's the most logical thing. Like if you don't if you acquire a team and then that team comes out and say they work with 2K on it, which one did they work with them on? Because you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's that would have been the most logical thing. I would have given them the template, just make this playable, you know, whatever, and then that's what I would have done. So uh what I think they should do, I think they should just combine their efforts and make one totally awesome game. That's what they should do. Make one totally awesome game that can do cross-play, cross-gen, all of that. Because like I keep saying, there is nothing basketball-wise in this game that I see that I feel like can't be done. They keep talking about the foot planting and stuff, but the foot planting don't even work itself on defense anyway. Maybe they need to do stuff. They talked about defensive stances. They talked about all that other stuff, bro. Like, it, it don't work. Why can't we just, if Call of Duty with all the stuff that's happening in Call of Duty, everything that's happening, bullets flying, they gotta keep bullet count, you gotta keep lag, all that. And Call of Duty has decidedly worse servers than 2K. Brute man, look, when me and Brute play this game, no problem at all. You can't even tell he's in the Caribbean. But when we play Call of Duty, oh yeah. You can definitely tell he's in the Caribbean. It's almost unplayable. Every gunfight, even if you got two pings, every gunfight is different in Call of Duty. Whereas in, in, in 2K, when I'm lagging, I can adjust for the lag and it's at least constant lag. So that's why I feel like these servers are better. I feel like, look man, let's just go back to this neighborhood aspect right here, the small neighborhood, all this stuff. Make portals to the city, whatever you gotta do. Let them work together on one totally awesome game that's cross-gen, cross-play, all that good stuff. At least give us cross-play. Let them work on just cross-play. But the thing is, what they're probably going to do, and, and I hate to say it, but what's probably going to end up happening is probably going to be this. And let me know what y'all if y'all agree with that. Should they this time they should just concentrate on one totally awesome game that's cross gen, cross play, cross everything, so we can get it. You know, have a good game, and the community don't have to be divided. And figure just figure it out. Like that's what y'all's job is: figure it out, figure out how to dumb down the graphics for these guys. Or what have you, if you're on current gen, and then you see the totally awesome game on next gen, and you see that it's different, that's why you got an incentive. Because you're not making more money splitting the game up because we got a shared wallet. So there's no incentive for y'all to not do it. We got a shared wallet. Look at dudes be quitting because because they get blowed out because they was in and this stuff. But you know it is what it is. But like I said, there's no incentive. You're not making more money off me spending, making more players and stuff like that. Because nobody's going to buy a PlayStation and an Xbox, except for my dumb ass. I'm the only person that's going to do it and spend money on both for both characters. Nobody else is going to do it. So they're not making all the that. Clean cut, what up, my boy? Hey, they're not making all that much more money. You would make decidedly more money if you had a game that was cross-gen and cross-play to where I could play with T-Mizzle. T-Mizzle ain't got nobody. I would have 10 characters. If I could play on PlayStation and play on Xbox, you know, take my character across and do whatever, whatever, and have cross save too. But if I could do whatever, that would be totally awesome, right? I'd have 10 characters because I don't have to be like, well, 
I don't have that many people to play with. I only play with two people. Instead of having three, I'd have more because I'd be like, all right, so when I play with T on PlayStation, I need this, 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 and this. They would make so much more money. Look, MLB The Show is doing it. Like T said, Need for Speed. I still got to drop my, my cross gens, cross thing video why they need to do it. Need for Speed patched it in. Fortnite patched it in. Um, Apex Legends and Shield Shooter uh, Simulator patched it in. Um, what's, what's the other game? Um, then uh, Player Unknown Battlegrounds patched it in. All these other people got crossplay. Uh, the only thing, like, I don't think any of the Take Two games have it though. Madden needs to get it. The show already got it. This needs to have it. Y'all need to get it for Grand Theft Auto and all of that stuff. But I understand why with Grand Theft Auto because they got a lot of mods and stuff. But you just shouldn't be able to. You should be able to do it with the public servers and then the modded servers. You just can't do it. You got to get in those off of Five M anyway. You can't even get in those, so that wouldn't even be no big deal with the role play and stuff. The whole point of it is this: I think that more devs is nice. It's awesome. But how should they direct this? Should they should they just be for the support? Like that that's one way they could do it. The other way they could do it is they could use them to make the game like I said and they and we're going to have two two different games next time. The third way that I can see it, they could have they could have Hookman uh they could be like okay, when 2K drops the game, they just straight hand it off to an entire development team that is totally dedicated to just um to you know what I'm saying, totally dedicated to the support of the game. So if you've got a dedicated support team and a dedicated team that builds the game, I think that's dope too. Like that's even better because we could get things seen about faster. We could get glitches resolved more quickly and we could have an active team working on the game throughout throughout the game because they want this game. Look, I, I feel like this. They ultimately probably gonna try to go to something because if this is every game's dream, they wanna go to some type of subscription model where it's just a year end update of the game and it just gets, you know what I'm saying? It just changes, changes, changes. Kind of like, uh, what's that game? Like uh, League of Legends, except for it's free, but it's free, but it makes more money than any other game because it's an awesome game and I wanna buy skins and stuff like that. So. So maybe that's what they're gonna do. Maybe they're just gonna have them dedicated to the ongoing support of the game and we can get support done better. They can build a game in a way where they can just tweak things where we don't have to have patches to fix things and stuff like that. And they can just behind the scenes, tweak the game, tweak the game, work on things and stuff like that. Maybe we had a dedicated team to this. Maybe we would already be done. Look at that interior, boy, but y'all need interior, man. Um, But maybe we would already have this done. Maybe it was already be completed. A lot of the stuff that we, that we waited months for in this game. Maybe whites wouldn't be smacking like they are, but shoot, if you weren't hitting whites, I don't know what you could really hit in these games. I ain't gonna lie to you sometimes. Uh, get that shot out of here, man. Look at the interior and the intimidation. But uh, I am Dennis Eckersley, a.k.a. and, and uh, Dale Earnhardt, the intimidator. Anyway, but y'all understand what I'm saying. If we have, either way, I think this, this is a can't lose, can't miss type of thing. If, I would rather them work on one solid, awesome game. Y'all let me know what y'all think too. I would rather them work on one solid, one awesome game that's cross-gen, cross-play, get the communities back together, get all these people that, that got screwed by the snipers, the, the scalpers and stuff, get them, get them right at least one more year and then let's just go because i'm not gonna feel like we being held back because once we get on the court it's basketball at the end of the day and like i said i just don't see anything that's just like that that on next gen. look at this like you do you, what, what do you see out here that's happening that that current that current gen can't do other than this massive city that nobody asked for i don't think that there's anything that that that, that it is and if it is they need to figure it out and iron it out. It just is what it is. Like at the end of the day, it's basketball. It's basketball. It's a physics engine. They said they built it from the ground up. The lie detector determined that that was a lie. Like, like, come on, man. Like, I, I, obviously, you could build it from the ground up, but use use older assets because you do have to use the older animations. You do have to use a lot of the, the a lot of the older assets. It, only a fool would build something from. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Only a fool would build something from the ground up. All right. Only a fool would do that and use no no past assets. Like I'm just gonna forget. We just because we built it from the ground up, we just forgot about everything that we did over the last 20 years. Only a fool would do that. So I get it. I do get it that they used it. They built it from the ground up. Probably built the engine from the ground up and used older assets. But ain't nobody asked for that. And after you and after you have spent a year with this engine, you should be able to look at this engine 
and tell how we can scale it now and make it run properly on on current gen and even if it's got to run shittily on current gen we don't care it need to be the same game make them suffer with frame rate they only getting 30 frames per second anyway 60 at max let you know they just can't do what we can do so let me know what y'all think down in the comment section do we want one really awesome game that's cross gen cross play whatever or do we want two games but we need cross play at the very bare minimum i don't care man or do y'all think that we just need to just have a whole new game, you know, just a whole new game next year, whatever, and then just have uh, Hook Man on the upkeep with the maintenance to make sure that that game goes properly, regardless of if we have two games. Because what this will do, ultimately, it'll let 2K be like this. We build a game, now we can go on to building the next game, and y'all support this game. Or they can combine all of their efforts, work together on building that one awesome game that's, like I said, cross-gen, cross-play, all that stuff. I don't know if the lag or the lack of movement on current gen is because of the power of the system or what. I don't believe it. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Do we want one game cross-gen, cross-play, or do we want two games on the two different systems cross-gen? I mean, just, just cross-play or whatever. I don't know. I mean, it's going to be cross-gen anyway because you'll still be able to play the older games are automatically cross-gen, right? Because you can you can play old games, but, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comment section. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys,